Oh, you're already there? Just think, several thousand years ago, man had already understood that time passed at a certain rate, but he thought it was all controlled by the gods. To try to find out more, man started to use a simple stick that's called a gnomon, which he planted in the ground to follow the movement of the sun. So it was through the sun that man started to keep track of time, and also by observing the passage of the seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. It's true that in some parts of the world they don't have four seasons, but they do have changes in temperature during the year, right? <laughs> Later, man invented the sundial. This round surface with a gnomon attached was supposed to record the sun's movements. Ah, look, you can see the shadow move. The sundials of the time had no graduations. Graduations are the little markings that tell you what time to say, Look, Mom and Dad, it's snack time! Graduations started to be added in the Middle Ages, but in those days they only had four markings. To mark the start and the end of the working day. And break times. Break times are pretty important, right? Sundials can tell us the time during the day. But what about at night? The sun doesn't shine at night. So that's why they invented the water clock, also called the clepsydra, which is Greek for water thief. I'll show you. It's a big vase with a hole in the bottom that lets a thin trickle of water pass through. Inside the vase, horizontal and vertical lines let you see how much time has passed. Pretty clever, huh? <laughs> A device that works in the same way is the hourglass. I'm sure you know what they are. Maybe you were given one to make sure you brush your teeth for long enough. As long as the sand goes through, you have to carry on brushing, brushing away at those teeth so you keep them nice and white and don't get tooth decay. <laughs> in about the 13th century, they replaced the sand and water with a solid element, which is how they made the first mechanical clocks. This was a real time revolution. When you think that today we can calculate down to thousandths of a second, it's really amazing! <laughs>